How's it going Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. My name is Dapo Willis. Today is another version of Trader Talk and guess what guys? I am so excited. Guys, it is redraw season once again. All our trades have been hitting take profit and when I say take profit, guys, the market is literally just dropping in our direction. It is redraw season, ladies and gentlemen, and I am so excited and I'm even more excited for the Forex Mastery students because there are people on the program who have been trading for so long. One guy sent me a message. I think I'll look for a screenshot. He said, Daps. I've been trading for five years and this is the first time I've ever made a redraw. Yes, you, I'm going to put the screenshot somewhere around here. And guys, that message touched me. I'm so happy right now. And guess what, guys? I have another trade lined up for you guys, okay? So if you are able to catch the last wave, you can still catch this one, right? Last time I dropped the Trader Talk video, I had 30k cash. The money has dropped down to 10k now because... I've gone shopping, man. I spent 20k. I already have 10k left of that money. I want, I want to make that money back. You get what I'm saying? So I got, I got, I've got just a trade for you guys, mate. I got just a trade for you guys that we can use to make a lot of money. So yeah, once again, Forex Mastery students. Um, it is my pleasure uh, working with you guys. <laughs> guys, do me a favor. Type redraw in the comment if you if you know if you know you want to make money this week. Type redrawal in the comment section, right? Type it right there, and I'm gonna help you guys. I've got just a trade lineup for you guys. Gold is looking very, very, very juicy. Now, aside from that, um, AUD USD is collapsing at the moment. Euro, GBP USD, all our trades have all gone in the direction that we said they were going to go and we've made a ton of money in the game so i wanted to say a special shout out to all my youtube followers all the forex mastery students and most importantly dapo willis no 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 the us dollar the us dollar has been the og that guy is an og man making it easy and simple for all of us but for those of you guys who don't understand what i'm talking about clearly you haven't grabbed the program so guys, think about it. We're making all this money and you're just there looking like, what is he talking about? Do yourself a favor and grab the program. It's literally so inexpensive. The link is around here somewhere. So that you are not left behind from prosperity. So that when you see your fellow traders redrawing profit, you're not just looking like, oh my God, I wish that was me. Once again, the link is around here somewhere. Secondly, Forex Mastery students that made a lot of money. Okay? Where's your redraw? Uh, picture. I told you guys last week because I know you guys made money. I made money. You guys learned from me. So if I made money, I know you guys made money. We trade alike. Where is your reach? I want to see. Tag me on Instagram. Tag me on Twitter. I want to go click that redraw button and I want to see the cash. Just the same way I have this year. I want to see the cash. And then I want you to take a percentage of that. Go down to the mall, to the bloody mall, and go buy yourself something nice. I don't care if it's a shirt. Tag Forex Mastery. Do hashtag Forex Mastery. And then take a picture of what you bought with your redraw and tag Dapo Willis. Okay, I want to see it. I don't care how little or how big. It can be a, a pen. It can be a nice shirt. It can be a Louis Vuitton. It can be a car. It can be a house. Everybody has different account size, but I know most of you guys made a ton of money, okay? One guy actually showed me an Uber that he just bought. Yes, he bought an Uber, literally, but he invested in an Uber. Obviously, after taking the Forex Mastery program and making all this money that we have been predicting on the YouTube channel. So, guys, Forex Mastery students, I want to see your redraw, okay? This is Instructor Dabs talking, okay? But for those of you guys who didn't catch the last wave, let me show you guys what is coming up and coming and coming and up for this week. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, don't get left behind. The link is around here somewhere. But enough of all of that. Just say hi, hi to Benjamin one last time. Hi, Benjamin. You all right? Oh, this guy looks a bit familiar. Okay. Benjamin, he looks like my friend. What are you saying, Benjamin? Guys, have you noticed Benjamin? What? Benjamin is never really smiling. I don't know, bro. Give, give, give me. <laughs> Benjamin doesn't. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, this guy is smiling. This one is happy. This one is happy. He's happy. Enough about all the banter, man. Let's jump into the charts. Let's see how we can extract some more stacks from the market once again my name is dapo willis let us go how's it going traders and welcome inside of my screen now um 
This is where I like to come and share with you guys everything that they talk about Forex you know, when it comes to YouTube and strategy and blah, blah, blah. Let us use, every, let's see how we can use all our knowledge in quote to extract money from this game. I'm all about practicality. I'm all about looking at the charts. I'm all about, you know, being transparent, opening the charts. Let's see where we can buy, where we can sell and where we can ultimately make some moolah. But before I jump into the charts, before I call out any trades, do me one favor if you haven't already subscribed to the channel just i'm going to give you five seconds just, uh, just relax scroll down a bit and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all this stuff i mean today this is sunday and i'm releasing this video usually i release trader talks about tuesday wednesday but you can see this is sunday um so that means if you're not subscribed to the channel there's a possibility that you might miss some of my videos and then by the time you see the video a couple of days later the trades have already played out so do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button so the first pair i want to kick off with is aud usd now australian dollar usd i had called shorts a long time ago um I'd called shots a long time ago. Now, why am I, why was I bearish on AUD USD? I kept on telling you guys. You see, the market is once you understand what they call a top-down analysis. Yeah, the market is so simple and straightforward. Like it's so easy. It was there was a descending trend line on the monthly time frame, right? And we breached into it. This was resistance. We were just testing it, testing it, testing it, guys. It was, it, I mean, it was a no-brainer that we were going to come down here because the market was making lower lows and lower highs on a higher time frame. And once the market gives us a clear direction on a higher time frame, we only trade in that direction. I'll tell you again, all you need to do is come on a higher time frame, okay? Identify a clear direction, okay? Once you're able to do that, then you scale to a lower time frame and trade in that direction. It is so simple. There's no need to be stuck in front of your computer every day, clicking buy, sell. No, none of that. So once I was able to identify that um, this market was in a bearish move, obviously I plotted my key levels, as you can see. Uh, and clearly you can see that the market moves from zone to zone. So it's, it, was, it was so simple and straightforward. Once we broke this 0.700, right? And the market was bearish the next level target was always going to be 0.600 although we haven't got in there yet but we're currently en route let me delete this we are definitely there's a 1000 pip drop waiting for us we are en route so it's so like a monthly time frame will take me less than three four minutes not even for two seconds to analyze done once you're done with the higher time frame then you can scale to a lower time frame so the monthly is saying down I'm going to come on the weekly to add to, to look at what exactly is happening chart pattern wise right so i've seen a head and shoulder that gave birth to all this entire move to the downside weekly is still telling me down the daily is also giving me a bearish trend now personally i was short and i am still short aud usd my entries are here <clears throat> my entries are somewhere about here if i just draw this about so my entries are somewhere about here this this pull back to this level actually what happened with my entries was supposed to be a bit lower but i i wasn't uh i wasn't around at the, like i wasn't paying attention to the to the pair at the time because i just felt it was still kind of like moving sideways so once we pull back a little bit I, I obviously jumped short and then we pulled all the way down here okay as you can see we pulled all the way down here um once we pulled all the way down here uh, forex mastery students you know always take out 50 percent of your position at the 100 percent retracement which is here so move stop losses to break even took out 50 percent of my position here as you can see the market reacted to the 100 percent retracement that just goes to reinforce this fact forex mastery students 100 percent retracement don't play with it in this case, the market is very bearish and very heavy, hence why we continue rolling over to the downside. But you can see the reaction that happened here. So I don't want to know what's going to happen, if it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I've made this money to the downside. I will lock in my profit. I will, this is exactly how I'm able to stack up a lot of Benjamins, right? I'm very careful when it comes to trading. Benjamin smells nice too. I'm very careful when it comes to trade. Now, by the way, for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the program, I suggest you do so. The link is going to be down as always in the description so that you can learn how to do you know this stuff for yourself and stop depending on signal providers and indicators that just don't show you anything. As you can see, from when I call these short trades, I'm about to bank 1,000 pips. I don't know if there's anybody in Forex who 
who who banks this kind of pips my it's so simple my entries are here from 0.0 um not 0.700 i'll be holding on to my trade all the way down to 0.600 although i have closed out 50 percent of my trade here but the remaining 50 percent i'm going to let it slide all the way to the downside right <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I'm going to let it slide all the way to the downside so you can see simple so monthly weekly daily all flowing down i have no doubts we're going to come to 0 0.600 once again you heard it here first on dapsy radio and yeah this is what it is so what's going to happen next for aud usd now um this this um what's it called this give me a second this move is an a b c d pattern move um if i adjust this a bit lower um i think that would be incorrect um be just because this just doesn't look right so i'll take the swing from this swing high right about here so aud usd what's my next what's my next bias for it i'm short i'm holding short however i do feel like we're gonna have a little bit of a um <coughs> Profit taking period occur at 0 0.6 <coughs> 500. Actually, let me just adjust this properly. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just going to quickly calculate something here. Favorite trace, man. Forex mastery students, um, if you see a massive. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> if you see a, a massive. Obviously, this is a 1000 pip drop. What you want to do is you want to come and use your Fibonacci to calculate 50% of this 1,000 pip drop. Usually the market comes to take some profit, not all the profit. So I'm just going to adjust this to line up here. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to now bring out my Fibonacci extension from swing low to swing high. Guys, this is not complicated, please. Don't worry about all this. I will explain to you guys what I'm doing shortly. Don't worry, it's not complicated. Anyway, only the Forex Mastery students will get it. <laughs> Only them get it. It's the truth. So I'm just gonna highlight this and box this zoom right about here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this down here. Bring this down here. Adjust this bad boy, and then I delete every single thing off my chart because it irritates me when I have so much on my chart. So what I've just done now is very, <coughs> very simple. So usually, when um, when you have a pullback like this, the market usually pulls back inside of the 50 to 61 percent retracement. Now, usually seven out of ten times, once once we are able to take out this, this is known as the 100 percent retracement, right? So once we're able to take out the 100 percent retracement, usually the next level target is the is the extension level which is this one, the minus 0.27 extension. Forex Mastery students, you already have this on your um, on the program. You know how to do the settings and everything. I think module eight talks about how to set up trading view like my own, okay? <clears throat> so once we're able to clear the 100% retracement, which we've done like so, usually the next level target is the op minus 0.27 extension. So we've this area is signifying that as well. Also, between two big zones massive zones within a thousand pip zone <clears throat> usually the market comes somewhere in between that zone usually 500 pips somewhere maybe 550 in between that zone and then um, usually it starts to take profit around that region so by the time i calculated both of them between the uh, minus 0.27 extension and the 50 percent of this entire move right about here uh <clears throat> hold on guys somebody's screaming I think I'm coming down with the flu, so I decided to quickly shoot this video. Okay, so um, yeah, so by the time I calculated 50% of 50% um, pip count between these two major zones and the 0.2 minus 0.27 extension, it kind of like lined up around this region. So this yellow bar will most likely be where we will start to see some rejection. Okay, some profit taking and some rejection around this region somewhere about here um so <clears throat> what's going to happen here um for those of you who have missed the train um there's a very high possibility of a pullback maybe once we reach here we'll start to obviously consolidate but guys the market is not just going to drop out of the sky i must warn you guys because <clears throat> as you guys are making a lot of money always have at the back of your mind even within the trends the market is not just going to drop out of the sky so and my duty is to come here and give you the most realistic approach to the market okay 
at this yellow bar, I still wouldn't be taking out my profit, um, closing out my remaining trades. All I'm doing, I'm simply trailing my stops now. Um, I have a very wide, because don't forget, I've taken out 50% of my position. And now I have a very wide um, stop loss trail happening at the moment to accommodate any potential consolidation and pullback once we reach here and stuff like that. But I'm still very, very much bearish. Okay, And don't forget, guys, consolidations are good pullbacks are good why are they good because it gives us the opportunity to jump in on these trades because think about it if the market is just falling then where where do we because not everybody is as you know not everybody is that Willis. not everybody is a forex mastery student who jumped in early once again shout out to my amazing forex mastery students don't forget to click your withdrawals please okay um for those of you who haven't grabbed the program once again the link is around here somewhere but shout out to you guys not everybody's like us i mean we're special who gets in early who knows exactly when the market is about to kick off right so consolidations are good consolidations are healthy because uh retracements are healthy because it gives us that pullback you know and um gives us that opportunity to jump into the market so that's my take on AUD USD. very simple and and quick and good so next level target 0.6400 if we're able to breach that 0.6 no, not 0.600 but i'm very 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 positive that we're going to drop all the way down i'm also looking for a potential consolidation here as so i can add to my sell position so that instead of just banking only 1000 pips i want to also make up for the earlier position um the 50 earlier 50 percent that i closed so that i can have a complete 1000 pip on at least 17 lots that's a lot 17.8 lots i'm short so i closed out about 8.5 thereabout so i'll be looking to jump in again and potentially add another um 17 lots and then we'll see We'll see how that goes. So that's pretty much it for AUD USD. Um, John with AUD USD. I'm just going to quickly go over the euro so that we can dive into gold and we can see the potential trading opportunity. As you can see, the euro guys, you see all these levels. I've had them for months. People come on my Twitter and they're talking rubbish. Oh, this that I see into the future, and you think I'm seeing into the future. You see why I started shutting the euro from guys. Go on, the euro trade was so simple. Break of counter trend line, bam. For those of you who want to know how we're getting to these trades, module four, entries and exits of the Forex Mastery program, you learn how to do it there. So guys, you think like I'm calling all these thousands of pips and people think that I'm just calling it for fun. You think I'm going to call almost 10,000 pips in a year and then not trade it? You're crazy, man. <clears throat> anyway, so as you can see, these levels have been mapped out and the market is it the market is acting just accordingly to these levels although i didn't short the euro um, i was out of the euro i closed my euro trade so i unfortunately i'm not profiting from this move um because i was the con i was concerned about the consolidation don't forget this consolidation was at a this consolidation was at parity okay so i just wasn't too comfortable with it and guys you have to understand if you're not comfortable with something it's okay to leave it i mean it has gone in my direction so i was actually right imagine i was right i knew i was right but i just wasn't comfortable so i left it alone so shout out to you euro i've already made a significant amount of money from all the way from the top thank you very much you've done a great job next level target for euro us is 0.6 i think that should line up with aed usd and then we should start seeing some consolidation now over to the guy that i wanted to speak to you guys about which is gold now this is where things start to get really interesting okay um give me a sec Ooh, give me a sec what else did i want to speak about uh no cryptos today euro gb i spoke about euro uh gbp usd ah as for gbp usd look guys it's gone Unfortunately, GBP USD didn't give us any decent pullbacks uh, for us to add some more positions. But best believe, these were my sell positions about here. If you think I'm lying, you can check my previous YouTube videos. I've been holding on to this sell trade for God knows how long. But of course, I took out 50% of my position at this level right about here. 50% of my position was taken out here. So guys, the thing is just bleeding. And as you can see, all these levels i have mapped them out from from inception how did i know these things were going to get to this level simple if you just look left it's not even rocket science if you just look left so before people start coming to talk rubbish 
in my ear. Oh, you just put it now. Guys, it's been here for months. It's so simple. But guys, what's happening to... It's funny because I actually predicted the collapse of GBPUSD all the way from the top. So you can see this was actually, if you come on the weekly time frame, this was actually uh, a head and shoulder. I predicted the collapse of this pair all the way from, from this break. 1.34 all the way down to 1.21 that's a thousand plus pips once we broke it i predicted it all the way from 1.21 all the way down here 1.14703 and i said once we break here we're gonna come so the pip count on gbp usd is crazy although i don't have any of my trades that i held um from inside of inside of here uh when it comes to gbp i think my gbp usd trade inside here was actually this one forex mastery students my 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 very strong followers on youtube you can remember this gbp usd trade very well the thing just bled all the way to the downside um but once we came down here i started to close out a lot of my position i just wanted to obviously take my money and then just relax and then i said to myself i can always add more if indeed we break this region because i felt within my heart of heart i was like okay i don't think like we're gonna come because these levels are this is literally some crazy lows that happened in 2020 this was wasn't this the um wasn't this this was 17th of march i think this was that thing that kept us at, at home i think this was this was that period right and so i didn't think we we're going to come down on, all the way down here but with this market is not what you think is what I, is what exactly actually happened so i just plotted my levels and i felt this one was going to hold so my trades inside of here so if you calculate the pip count 1.43 all the way down here 1000 plus pips i thought the market was going to be done here i said well if it, it started to look like it wasn't done i said well if you're not done I can always catch you when you come out and don't forget guys the market moves from zone to zone as you can see we broke this zone tested the zone kissed it and we started to break all the way to the downside don't forget the market this green bar sorry is supposed to be a zone so if i just clone this uh, i was too lazy I, I i just sometimes i just like to put a green bar because for me green bar signifies profit target okay so as you can see the market moves very very if you look at my charts and everything you notice something very peculiar the market just moves from zone to zone once again if you want to learn how to plot these zones you want to learn how to do this properly and make all this money get the program people are like this guy always talking about his program guy why not if you know you have something good i couldn't talk about it all the time i see when i wasn't bragging about my success in forex when i wasn't bragging about how amazing my course was nobody knew me if you don't say what you believe in if you don't say that i'm the best if you don't say first of all when by saying you're the best you start to believe you're the best since i started saying i, I like my approach is the best guys literally i have been right 10 out of 10 times if you check my all my, my like my my most the last 10 trader talk videos hold on guys yeah sorry about the breaking transmission guys somebody came so where did i stop so go check my my all my you know my videos since i started saying i was the best since i started saying i had the best best approach like like guys we've been right 10 out of 10 times the last time i hit a stop loss was in maybe october last year which was AUD USD, which we event you know what happened we hit the stop loss and then the market still went in our direction and we still traded it and we still made money so Last imagine the last time I, I hit the stop loss it was almost a year ago. Fuck you know. Guys, this thing works, you know. So once again, let's dive into gold. Now I think this is last but not the least. So yeah, that's just goes to show you that the program does work. The approach works. Okay. I'm a living testimony to that. So let's quickly dive into gold. I remember last time I broke down gold and I said, hey, let me break down, let me break the gold down for you guys once one more time, right? So gold is very simple and straightforward, right? Um, massive double top happening on a higher time frame. If I draw this properly, you'd see right about here, massive, massive double top going on at the moment, okay? Um, and as you can see, we have currently broken in a trend line what does that say to you it's time to go selling okay once you see a double top on a higher time frame forex mastery students you already know this once you see a double top on a higher time frame just know that 
the market is going to collapse. And as you can see, it's so simple. Just look left. I'm giving away some spies here, but look, look left. Done with higher time frame, come to lower time frame. Actually, weekly is better. So let's put out levels on the weekly. I'm going to need some of this. <sighs> Tango. I need about two. Let's delete this. Guys, you see, I'm about to predict a the, the collapse of gold in just five seconds. Higher time frame, double top. Neckline has been broken. Which is here, simple as ABC, support taking out, we're currently bleeding, okay? Now, it depends on how you draw your trend line, this could, either, this could be a breakout retest continuation or it could just be a bloody breakout. However it is, you tend to look at it. I consider this just a breakout, but to be honest, the market actually did a breakout retest continuation, okay? Now, the breakout retest continuation is done. Um, gold is looking very, very juicy for a bearish move all the way down to the all the way to the downside. I'm calling gold. Um, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. I'm calling gold at 1.533. Next level target for gold. I see no reason why we shouldn't get there. Now, let's see where we can potentially enter gold. Um, gold has left the station, as you can see. But if I come on a lower time frame, um, <sighs> put this in a zone box. So I'm going to be using my range, um, my range trading strategy, my range entry strategy, not a trading strategy, to enter this. So I will be selling gold um, on Monday night, actually. So it depends on where we find gold on Monday night. I won't be selling now because on Mondays, I don't trade. I don't trade because Mondays have very... Over the years, I've realized that whatever happens on Mondays is never to be trusted. So I don't trade on Mondays, okay? So whatever happens on um, on, on Monday night slash Tuesday morning, I will be selling. And then Forex Mastery students, you know this strategy. You know where the entries are supposed to be. And you know the stop loss placement. If you've forgotten, revisit the program and check so that you know, you understand how um, to best to get into this trade. I'm calling gold at $1,540 per ounce next level target. Um, we have a potential, what, thousand pip drop on gold as well so i don't look at things on a four hour time frame i come on the daily because actually i come on high time so i execute on low people always say well i have a small account size you because you have a big account size that's why you can trade no guys i just i do my analysis on higher time frames but i execute on lower time frames so i'm literally able to use something as little as 60 pips stop loss to catch 1000 pips so simple like it's not even rocket science. Like I would literally come on a four hour to execute this. By the time I execute my trade on Tuesday, um, Monday night last Tuesday morning, you realize that my pit, my my stop loss is probably sixty pips away from my entry, or at best a hundred pips, and I'm going in for one thousand pips. If you do the math, that's the risk to reward of ten to one. If you do the math at three percent risk, you're literally doing thirty thirty to. 30 to 35 percent return on investment on one trade whilst imagine you're doing 30 to 35 percent of your of your account on one trade while still keeping your risk low that's why i like you know this approach because i get to see the big picture and then i get to scale down to lower time frames to obviously get and ref get my entries and refine them properly and then jump in and obviously juice it to the best of my ability. So I think that's about it. Um, I don't really want to go into Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, Ethereum. Oh, yeah. Ethereum is going to collapse though. Ethereum next level target is here. Uh, 1014. $1,014 per coin for Ethereum. How do I know this? Because the top-down analysis says so. Guys, this, so this just goes to show you that I don't like this ETH chart. It looks horrible. This just goes to show you that this approach works for everything. Guys, this is the Ethereum. Ethereum. Got it properly. Good. Exactly. So if I come on a daily time frame, ETH. So ETH is holding up at the moment because of this bad boy, actually. If I do this properly, this is this bad boy somewhere here. 
So East is holding up at the moment because of this cons uh, conflict of interest here. Once we're able to clear this yellow bar right about here, so there's a bit of a conflict going on with ETH here. You know me, I always tell you guys exactly how it is. Like, if it's time to go selling, we sell. I believe ETH is going to collapse, uh, without a doubt. Um, however, for those of you who want to jump in now, I would wait for this black bar to be cleared. And then you can start selling. Um, ideally, if I was to... The truth is, I missed this trade. I, I missed this trade. So my entry should have been around here somewhere. But I missed it. So I'm not going to trade, obviously. It's, it's done and dusted. Look at this black bar. This thing is going to fall. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like... Ugh. I know you're going to fall. Like, just drop. Next level target for it is it actually... Let's, let's just say $1,000 per coin. That's a, that's a decent number. So this this caps all the support levels and the wicks and stuff like that. So ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I'm sure you can tell my energy level has dropped. Um, I think I'm falling sick, falling ill. I exposed myself a bit too much while I was sleeping last night. So I might come down with the flu. So I might not be able to drop that many updated videos for you guys in the coming weeks. Okay, and I'm traveling as well. So if I were you, I will go ahead and grab the program so that you know exactly what to do, how to spot these trades, and how to make money because Dapper Willis is going to be off YouTube for at least another 10 days so that you don't miss out on anything, okay? Get it do, so that you can learn how to do this for yourself, fish for yourself, and you're pretty much good to go, okay? So that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Gold is my... Gold is my... Um, it's going to be my next victim, as I like to call it. Today, I wanted to speak about the beef I had with day traders on Insta on Twitter, but I'm a bit too tired for that. Um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for staying to the end of this video. I have something to tell you on my other screen. Um, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, ensure to subscribe. And I'll see you on my other screen. Let us go.